Welcome to Beans, Brews and Bread today. We've got a few uh, nice presents for Christmas. Like I've seen on the community tab post, which I uh, loaded over the Christmas and New Year period. Now give them a go today. Give them a bit of a show as to uh, how they work. So we'll have a look. So one of the uh, tools that I got for Christmas was the Wolfgarten um, soil miller and you might have seen this uh, fairly medieval looking piece of equipment um, on the community tab over Christmas but this is the uh, weapon in action and um, the idea being that this sort of nips the uh, sort of top layer of the soil off and then this mills through it so I'll give you a quick look now and see how uh, quick it can get through some soil As you can see from this, it's sort of skimming the top layer of weeds off. Um, some of the perennial stuff might need to be dug out with a hand trowel um, or something similar. And then you've got this kind of stuff here, this sort of grass. That's just completely took that out. It's uh, great uh, that has gone into the compost bin, by the way. Uh, doing really well. Quite impressed with how, even with a wet soil condition, made light work of that patch. That would have been really difficult with just a Dutch hoe or something like that. But I'm impressed. And what I could do then is, now that I've taken all the surface weeds off, just with a maybe a fine tined rake, just collect them all them off the surface that's made what that's what a couple of minutes if that that is a great piece of kit actually JB was uh, looking on the potty mouth garden club the other day for getting one I would say that is definitely worth the investment <laughs> that's for sort of no dig it's only gone, you know, for those of you that swear by that, I think it's only gone about an inch or so just under the surface. Um, but I'm quite impressed with that. You can see the difference between maybe the uh, surface weeds where they were and now what it looks like now. I'm well happy with that. Next Christmas present was this push-pull hoe. Again, aims only really to go sort of the top one inch under the surface. But again, that'd be great for in between plants. Um, also taking sort of tops off the weeds as well. But I think that'll be the, uh, that's the next gift from Christmas. But I'll give that a go now and show you this one. Again, oh, it's quite really light. It's a really light, honestly. The difference between that and a normal Dutch hoe is really remarkable. And you might not be able to see that over there. But again, sort of, sort of taking the tops off the, the perennial roots, that's pretty good. Obviously, it needs to get the big roots out, but that's not a bad light push pull hoe. That'd be great for. Making the, I could get a small row of done with golden beetroot there. Again, we're right up to the right up to the row of plants, so that's good for fine work. That's really worth it. Really happy with this. These uh, wolf garden tools, they're uh, really well made, quite strum sturdy, and uh, quite impressed how lightweight that is. Obviously there's a bit of weight behind the soil miller, 
uh, to be able to get through the surface um, with those tines and that swivel hoe at the back. That's a really great piece of kit. Really happy with that. I strongly recommend it. Yeah, they're both uh, two sets of tools that I would uh, strongly recommend. Um, if you've uh, liked the uh, trial today, I'd be grateful if you give the uh, video a thumbs up. I'd like to be notified of the next time I put some content on, maybe some tool reviews, uh, maybe show you uh, doing a whole bed in action, maybe do some planting as well, then give the uh, channel a subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.